Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, I guess it's the 13th, it's the Wednesday, mid-November. Got some movement in Kiwi last night, 2 a.m. Central European time for those of you who are up. RBNZ did not move rates, and as you can see, we zipped higher. <laughs> Quick 90-point uh, move on the hourlies. We weren't awake for this, so we don't really know what happened. Let's look at the five-minute bar. 34 to 14. 80 point bar back down to 94 90 has been low um, so obviously hawkish uh, another central bank out there who is either stopping their easing process or perhaps even considering tightening things are changing out there people um, the marginal utility of lower rates is now being questioned globally. Adjust your portfolios appropriately. This is why we're short fixed income. Um, one of the reasons we're short fixed income. Uh, but anyway, here's Kiwi. We're not chasing this. Uh, we feel like we kind of just missed this one. Just wanted to bring it up for those of you who might want to play here. Dead middle of the range. Not really sure what to do with it. We'll be more interested in Kiwi if we get back up to 64, 65, which I'm not sure is going to happen, to be fair, um, as equities could tip over at any day now. Anyway, uh, Euro, not doing much. We thought we were going to get a turn there when we printed that 04 hourly bar, this bar here. Um that four o'clock bar but now we're just sideways looks to me like we're gonna you know a few guys are probably long from yesterday and it looks pretty stale so not much to sink your teeth into euro we're waiting for the turn but there seems to be just a general demand for um, dollars and it could be structural demand from the global bank banking system could be a lot of things I don't I don't pretend to understand it um, we are looking for a turn in euro it's not happening so we're square for now waiting for signals or waiting for confirmation we don't need to buy the absolute low um, but what we want to do is get in a position that's on sides right away Dollar Swiss slipped through our little bear, um, bull bear line here. Uh, 99.14 was our number. Um, didn't down, been down to 06. Euro Swiss just keeps getting hammered. Um, this is a cause for concern on the global macro radar. Here's your Euro Swiss 109.11. Wow. Um, somebody's worried about something out there so dollar swiss is now through and now we're waiting for dollar yen here which actually printed a uh, pretty decent print 87 print overnight we're going to use this 90 point as a place to get short today um, thinking that dollar yen is going to start heading left again we took three or four tries through the 200 day moving average at 109.03 fail 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 here we are at 06 but equities looks like they're tilting um, bonds that we think are going to go just sideways here for a bit so this might give us a chance to be short dollar yen today let's take a look at equities kind of dojied yesterday opened and closed at the same uh, nothing too, too excitable until we get below 81, which was yesterday's low. Um, but just the price action uh, above the figure and then the price action while Trump was speaking about possible tariffs against Europe. Threats of this, threats of that. Um, give this a little bit of a left hand feel today. 
Nothing to sink your teeth into yet, but we are waiting and watching. Dollar Max yesterday, we talked about it. Finally broke 1925. 200 days at 26. It was pretty clean actually. 2538 was the low after the high. We've got central bank news tomorrow in Max, so if you are long, um, careful with this. Try and get yourself into a decent average, but looks pretty constructive. Have to has to be said. Um, being long dollar max makes a lot of sense now technically. Uh, now story wise, we kind of have to see uh, what the bank does tomorrow. But dollar max is through 1925. There was definitely some good money to be made there. We were hesitant and didn't really participate fully because it was going into the Trump speech and it looked like just a a slushy stop move. Um, so slightly regretful there, but such is life. Uh, we move on. But dollar max is through. Uh, interesting, interesting break there. Let's look at euro yen. Uh, kind of f falling over here. Uh, eighty six to low overnight. When that was when dollar yen went to eighty went to eighty seven. Um, not really sure where to get short this thing, but we kind of want to get short. Euro Swiss is kind of telling us we want to be short. We're we're bearish um, dollar yen, so it's it's just a question of how do we structure this and where do we get short and where's the safest place to get short. It looks like 24 is going to be the ceiling to me. Um, so maybe some sort of short between 15 and 25. Uh, that might make a little bit of a sense, but we like Euro Yen lower. Let's look at our buddies Boons. Uh, like we said, we're expecting sideways action here, so you want to sell between 90 and 20 on the top side. Um, you want to remain core short, so if you're square now, you got to get short, but we're already short. We will add on little tactical trades between 169.90 and 170.20. We will be taking those back uh, somewhere 169.70, 169.50. That is a tactical trade for the day book. The core book is still just short. Um, I, like I said, I think this has another thousand points to go. So, D spoons, um, we're still short. Gold. Um, the guys in Paris bought gold at 53 yesterday, which was pretty good. We did not. Um, looks like 50 has has held. If equities turn here, um, we like this gold to go back higher. God bless the guys in Paris. Um, he did a nice job with that. Kind of an indecisive bar here after four down days, and now it looks like we're making a higher high. Those uh, those might turn out to be very sexy. Those 1453s. Uh, nice work, Nick. What else we got out here? We got uh, I don't really know. Oh yeah, we got Aussie. Aussie up a little bit in sympathy with Kiwi. But we do like this on the downside. We like Aussie Yen uh, in particular on the downside. We're waiting for some sort of more magical setup. Um, but Aussie, we don't think is going to, you know, this is a sell for us now between sort of 45 and 75. We talked about the tug of war at 69, the figure. The Bears won. Um, and so we feel like we're going to be heading off left-hand side now. Obviously, uh, positive trade news blows that trade up. So you got to be careful, be disciplined, but we do like Aussie left-hand side. Uh, a few of you are asking about RTY, um, which is, you know, probably the most sensible way to be short stocks. We got short here after this bar um, at 
95. It's been sitting here basically 95.05 now for six days. And we're waiting either to get stopped out above uh, above 13 here, or now we're going to add down below 87. One of the great things, if you're really a stock bear and you and you just can't help yourself, RTY is your horse, right? Because you don't have Apple, you don't have Google, you don't have basically any of the fangs who are driving ES uh, to the insanity plateau. So, anyway, a lot of you are asking, and I'm telling you, 1587.7 for the for the razor sharp guys we're actually going to wait for sort of 86 85 and a half to trade but this is this little technical section is going to resolve itself today or tomorrow we're obviously looking for it to resolve itself on the downside but if you're short you stop out up here if you're short and want to be aggressive you will add down through 85 that's on the russell uh, finally tens like we said, sideways action here. There are a lot of people who are short at this 15 level, so there's going to be stops. You want to fade this between 15 and 29, look for sideways action, and then a move back down. I've said enough. We've got uh, inflation figures out today in Germany, CPI, inflation stuff out of the UK. Um, and then we got industrial production out of... Um, Europe in general, CPI in the States, um, and then EIA, which is a worthless oil indicator in the afternoon. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough today. I will uh, talk to you all tomorrow. Ciao.